Hi, Peter with Guitar Smarts here. We've all strummed chords, but have we ever broken them? Today we're going to learn how to break chords, called broken chords. Playing in the broken chord style is very, very popular. It adds a texture to the music that is so different from strumming, and it's a very welcome texture most of the time. Used quite a bit of ballads and very sensitive playing. So I'm going to show you, first of all, where to start. Broken chords start with a bass note and usually a number of the harmony strings are added in. So I'm going to take a D major chord. So there's a strumming of a D major chord. The D string is the bass note of a D major chord. So for today's example, our broken chord pattern is going to be a bass note, then the third string, second string, third string, second string, third. So it's bass, three, two, three, two, three. Say that to yourself, bass, three, two, three, two, three. There are many broken chord patterns, but today I'm just gonna show you this one. It's in a three beat feel, but it's very quick to get onto, very quick to learn. So bass, three, two, three, two, three. Bass. Bass. So that's for the D chord. So we're going to switch to a G chord. The bass note in the G chord is the sixth string, this note right here. So we're going to hit that as the bass note, then three, two, three, two, three again. Bass, bass, bass. Now the E minor chord is the same exact bass string, but open. Three, two, three, two, three. A7 chord, we're going to use the fifth string. It's an A string, kind of obvious there. So A, bass three, two, three, two, three. So let's quickly review. For the D chord, fourth string bass note. For the G, sixth string bass note. For the E, sixth string bass note. And for the A, fifth string bass note. Each of those will be followed by a three, two, three, two, three. Here we go. Start on D, I'll play through all four chords first, and I'll put two patterns on each chord. G. E minor. A7. Now I'll play that four chord progression, D, G, E minor, A7, non-stop, two patterns each. Each pattern is a bass note, three, two, three, two, three. Here we go, one, two, three. And that's a broken chord pattern using the chords D, G, E minor, and A7. Broken chord basically means you take a solid chord and you break it up into its individual strings. In this particular case, I use the fourth, the third, and the second string for the D chord, the sixth, the third, and the second for the G, the sixth, the third, and the second for the E minor, the fifth, the third, and the second for the A7. There are many different versions of broken chords. We'll look at a different broken chord pattern in video number two in this series. But for now, below in the description, you will notice that there's a link there that you can actually download all of the information that shows you how to set up your broken chords, what strings to choose for which type of pattern. But that link will show you exactly what I did today. I hope you enjoyed that. I'm Peter with Guitar Smarts. See you in the next video.